Hello everyone, more so hi to the ladies. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Ntabi. Welcome to my channel. A brief rundown on the gels you can use to lay your hair. This is the Soften Free Maximum Holding Gel. This gel moisturizes, conditions, and holds the hair. No matter how thick or thin your hair is, it will hold. It works best on its own. This is Eco Styler. Also conditions and gives a great hold. You can use it with molding wax. The main ingredient in this wax is tea tree oil. It works best with gels that aren't as moisturizing and oily as the soften free hair gel. I prefer using it with this isoplus gel because it has a more watery consistency in comparison to the other two gels. It helps balance the oil out. Because the main ingredient in this wax is oil, it tends to get too oily in summer. It somewhat melts and in winter it freezes. So once it reaches your scalp and it melts, going in with isoplus helps balance out the oiliness. If you feel like this is too much admin for you, you can just use the soften free hair gel. I used leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair after washing it. This is just water, the hair tools you will need. I start off by parting my hair for the bangs. Using wax to define my lines. I was expecting load shedding at 10. I started styling my hair at 9.22. I just wanted to estimate how long it takes to just lay the hair. This is a top knot bun. I like it really high. Going in with gel, just enough. Just combing through. Sectioning my hair out for my edges, this is optional. Combing the hair in the direction I'll be laying it. More gel. After that, I combed it upwards and tied it. Going in with the wax, this is its consistency. An alternative to this could be Edge Booster or Shine and Jam. Any edge control or wax that you prefer. When applying it, I smear it on first and then smooth it in. I use my nail brush to spread the products evenly throughout the entire head and to basically brush the hair into position. Clicks, Pip, Spa and Pick and Pay Salvers brush, it is definitely not more than 30 Rand. Some beauty supply stores sell it for less than 10 Rand. Going in with more wax. If you are against using a lot of products, this is not for you. When your hair is as short as mine, you are somewhat pasting the hair in position. Even when stretched, the hair at your nape won't make it to where the bun is positioned. So I'm basically pasting and molding it in position with the products. With longer hair, you don't need to use as much products. I hope this makes sense.
After this, I brush through again and retie and go in with the gel. The gel must always be the last product applied when using it with this wax. The residue doesn't dry down white, so don't worry about that. After tying, I design my edges using gel and wax. The main reason I use this wax is because of how it helps me mold the hair. It's all in the thick consistency. Gel is too watery, so you can't be as precise when creating your design. Using gel alone does work, but it doesn't give me the precision I want. I was on TikTok the other day and a girl was laying her edges with a bar of soap. Personally, I wouldn't. I'm not against it, but it's just not for me. But once again, it just goes to show that thick consistency helps with precision and control. So you swoop down and curve up. It takes approximately 45 minutes to lay your hair. Whenever your hair feels oily, go in with gel. You can also use a toothbrush for smoothing your edges. If it has hard bristles, it works better. Always wear a silk or a silk-like scarf at the base. And then you can wear a cotton one on top of that. If you want this hairstyle to last for a good week, make sure you use holding spray right before you wear your duke. This is the following day, oil sheen for shine and to get rid of any white patches. I'm using Maxine by Magic, color 1B. This hair retails for 100 Rand. Cosmetic Connection also sells it. The only downside to this fiber is that you can't use heat on it. It will burn. The pack comes with two bundles. This glue was 15 Rand at a local supply store. Take a lot also sells this. The main ingredient in this is rubber latex. If you get it on your fingers, just rub your fingers together or use a wet wipe and it's gone. This is heat protectant, less than 100 Rand at clicks. Pick and pay also sells it. I stretched my hair with my blow dryer and then straightened it. I am using the lowest heat. You will see smoke, but trust me, it's on the lowest setting. This is a powerful straightener. Too much heat damages my hair. It will not revert. I'm saying this based off experience. It happened to me twice last year and I had to cut my hair. So if you have fine 4C hair like mine, please don't use too much heat. You'll regret it. I cut almost half of one of the bundles, doubled it and attached it from the top to the base. Ensure that it is tight so that it doesn't unravel. Once done, I take a piece out and wrap it around the base. I used glue to secure it.
sectioned out another piece you don't have to do this twice you can just do it once with the same amount of hair sectioned out the second time apply glue get it tacky wrap and dry it in position Twist from the middle, bend, wrap it around and secure it with a bobby pin. Holding spray helps prevent it from unraveling. I doubled the widths for the bangs with glue. You measure how much you will need. Cut, apply the glue. Get it tacky. Place it on your head and dry it in position. The process is repetitive. For everything to blend, I used this tint spray by Tresemme. I ran out of it as I was shooting. Clicks and take a lot salad. All you do is just spray it on your hair so that everything blends. It's a temporary hair dye. This wax stick is from Take A Lot. I used it to tame the bangs. And that's it. Oil sheen for that nice salon finish. Simple, easy, affordable look. Lasts for a week with holding spray and good maintenance. To remove the bangs, all you need is oil sheen. Spray it on the track, let it soak in like seasoning, and remove it gently. The more glue you use, the more oil you need, but it's easy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you on my next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!